After three years of research, the Open African Innovation Research and Training Project, known as Open Air, has released a book of case studies. 13 studies looking at communal collaborative innovation and intellectual property across nine countries. One group of people will speak innovation, another will speak IP, another will speak about collaboration. And so what I love about this book is that it brings all of those threads or those lines of reasoning together in one text. By using IP creatively, you can facilitate a kind of community. And the communities operate on different levels. We need to broaden our perspectives outside of this siloed approach towards intellectual property. Intellectual property has always been captioned or conceptualized in the context of a, a capitalist, one-person kind of breakthrough innovation. And little attention is paid to the knowledge production methods that are very communal and collaborative in nature. The book, entitled Innovation and Intellectual Property, Collaborative Dynamics in Africa, is freely available on the Open Air website and in hard copy from its publisher, UCT Press. The book's findings on innovation and creativity span across countries in the north, west, east, and south of the continent in both urban and rural settings. A wide range of sectors is covered in the book's chapters including auto parts, coca and coffee production, music and book publishing, leather goods and textiles, and also university research outputs, biofuel development, and traditional medicine. The intellectual property protections examined are trademarks, geographical indications, patents, trade secrets, and copyrights, as well as informal and traditional tools of knowledge governance. The book provides evidence that in some cases uh, intellectual property indeed can be an incentive for innovative activity on the African continent, but in other cases it can be a stumbling block. And then oftentimes it is not so much a question of either or, but it is a combination of both. A little bit of openness combined with closed systems in some respects. This book helps not only to tease out the essence of collaboration in production of knowledge, but also to situate it in critical context in the African societies that we were privileged to really encounter on the field.